Describe Microsoft's Active Directory services and the parts of Active Directory services and how they are used. Microsoft Active Directory, ADS, is really the core function of the Microsoft security model. Active Directory services allows you to assign roles to users and have a set of groups and roles that can be assigned to any given user based on another set of rules. Really how it works is you say, this person is assigned to this project. And you say, okay, the project is for accounting, is doing programming, and requires the ability to do scheduling and human resources. And so you would say, okay, this user is in the group accounting, human resources, programming, and scheduling. Then, based on each of those roles, they would inherit permissions that would be applied to their network resources. So you'd say, anyone who's in accounting can print to the wide format printer, whereas regular people can't print to the wide format printer. Anyone in human resources has access to employee file lookup, but people who are in programming generally don't. Anyone who's in programming has access to the code trees and has access to the install files for Virtual Studio and other programming resources. Active Directory services would manage those permissions, but would also assign the roles so that when you applied group policy objects to the desktop, those roles would receive the software and ACLs that they would need in order to fill their role. And those could be assigned for temporary amounts of time. If you said, this employee is going to be working on this project for the next six weeks, they may only be in, a, in the accounting group for the next six weeks because they're on loan from the programming and software development part of the company. And that's Active Directory Services. It is the panel that lets you control all of those things. Rights Management Services, ADRMS, is the part that actually sets some of those rules about the printing and what the users can do with files in those spaces. Linux and Apple, for the most part, only let you say you have read, write, and execute rules on files. Active Directory RMS lets you go a step further. It says that this user can view this file, but they may not be able to print this file. Or this user may be able to view a portion of the file, but they can't view all of the comments on the file. You can do all sorts of fun things, fun being relative, but interesting things using Active Directory RMS because by limiting the rules about print, number of times they can view, whether or not they can share the file via email, and other rules, you can really control the information flow within your company and make sure that you aren't leaking sensitive documents out into the world, whether it's financial reports, uh, human resources reports, credit reports, background checks, any of those kinds of th medical records, any of those kinds of things can have these rules applied to them. The next part of Active Directory services is Federation services. Federation services are for between organizations. Say company A is working with company B well, you may not want to allow everyone from company B full rights to the things that you're working on. So you set federation services to say, I don't have to know everything about this user. I simply have to know that in their organization, they are a supervisor assigned to this project. So when they come into my organization's directory structure, they inherit Right, uh, rules based on the information that was passed with their profile. This means that you don't have to manage all of the rules about every employee from that other organization, and you don't have to know about all of the employees. 
An organization that has 40,000 employees may only have 12 of them that have access to work on this project. Or they may have a thousand of those employees, but they're constantly changing, so you don't want to have to pass the information on a regular basis. The last part of Active Directory is the certification service. And the certification service is a way to ensure that the computer you're talking to is the computer that you should be talking to. The certification service allows you to authenticate that a machine or device is the device that it says it does by passing a signed certificate that's attached to a whole bunch of information about that specific computer. This prevents you from just plugging a computer into the network and renaming it Server 01 and having everybody authenticate to it and stealing the data based on that impersonation attack. This is actually a pretty common enterprise IT question that I've just answered. Large organizations are looking for people that understand how to manage large number of users in very specific ways with great levels of control and without having to do it manually for every person in the organization. It's about scale and the number of people that you can manage. Understanding each of the parts of Active Directory service is maybe a little bit of overkill but the only way to tell that a person works with Active Directory services on a regular basis is to ask if they understand the fundamentals rather than saying, show me how to do this thing in Active Directory services. Instead, you ask the quote-unquote meta question of how does Active Directory services work?